All right, people, what's good, man? Like Jamo. Um, let's get this thing unboxed, any fam. Thunder X3 Core Ultimate Series Ergonomic Gaming Chair, Office Chair, whatever you want to use it for, really. Obviously, bare people are doing the working from home thing. And you know, we need we need to do it comfortable. We need to look after our backs and that, innit? So yeah, let's pop this open and see what's really good. You don't want to see our M on your block. M on your block. Now, as you can see, this thing comes with two boxes from the accessories kit and I guess this is like the main chair kind of thing. Um, fam, I don't even know which one to open first. Let me try with the accessories kit. At least it looks smaller. All right. Now, this is everything out of those two boxes. It was basically the top of the chair and the bottom of the chair and some other pillows stuff in that big, massive box. And then in the smaller box, it was like all these accessories, so like the gas pump. Um, these little nuts and bolts, the instruction manual, the little stool bit and all that kind of stuff in it. So anyway, let's all stick this together, see what's really good. Just in case some of you guys are busybody, let me just quickly show you the underneath of the bottom part of the chair. So this is the little kind of hinge or joint that attaches the bottom of the chair to the top of the chair. It's only one single joint. Um, these are the arms, obviously, held in by four screws or four Allen key things. Um, the middle part which obviously controls the chair going up and down and all that also held in by four screws and then there's the other arm and that's that's pretty much it so it's only one two three and four that you're really connecting to the bottom part as well as obviously the legs over here and there we go guys we got the complete thunder x3 gaming chair thing this thing is looking mad it's looking very mad I can't lie. I'm going to go through some of the controls and stuff that you can do with the chair right now. Um, but just looking at it, especially in the light, fam, this this fabric that they got going on, this fabric, if I, if I speak, <laughs> they'll say I have spoken, fam. I think the first thing that literally catches everyone's eye is this movable back plate here. Um, supposed to help your like posture and everything and obviously depending on who sits on it it'll be at a different angle kind of thing so i don't know the maths i don't know the science behind it but it's supposed to give you less back ache less back fatigue or lower back fatigue you know them things there lumbar support in it mad thing all right now moving on to the armrest fam i think this is the first gaming chair man has reviewed that has had the same material on the chair itself on the armrest fam so you're mad comfy it's mad squishy comfortable and everything usually even on my noble chairs they've got like a plastic armrest kind of thing or like a a different material that can kind of get a little bit numb if you've been on it for them long gaming sessions but this thing here mad soft than that yazimi anyway let's move up and down with the thing as you can see here yeah, you got the up and down movement kind of thing which you can get by pressing this little lever right here I just want to show you that again with the light on so that's the lever you kind of hold it up and down and then you can move the chair up and down in it also using the button on the inside you can slide the armrest in and out of the chair so make it closer to you or make it further away for you if you're a bit wide like me you zimmy on top of that you've also got another button here towards the front inside of the armrest where you can twist the armrest left and right to suit your gaming position fam so there's, there's not much that you can't do with this armrest apart from pushing it forward and backwards let me see if you can oh yes you can yeah there you go you can push it forward and backwards using the same button on the front here so forwards and backwards left and right um in and out and then obviously up and down now this cushion is a bit of a mad thing i think it's a memory foam thing fam because when you press it it kind of stays pressed fam you get it it's kind of molding into your head shape or your neck shape or whatever you got going on fam and you know man like me has a lot of neck shape so when this molds to my neck i'm gonna feel nice you understand now you've got bare controls under the chair i think you've got two on this side and two on the opposite side um and it's kind of weird to explain what they do so i'm gonna just try and show you in it all right so this first one at the back here kind of tilts the base of the chair upwards as you can see there so that's it reset and that's it tilted so it's more flat whereas this is more i don't know inwards i don't know the way to describe what it's doing right now but you can kind of still see the, the adjustment that's going on there see it's kind of tilted back kind of tilted forwards 
mad thing. I don't know what that movement is called, but you can see what it's doing. The second thing the same knob does is that you can actually twist it left and right, and that increases or decreases the weight tension that it takes to lean the back of the chair backwards kind of thing. So if you're a lightweight person, you might want like a lower sensitivity so it's easier for you to push the chair backwards. If you're a heavyweight person like me, you might want more tension, more resistance so that you're not accidentally falling backwards every time you lean your weight slightly back on the chair, innit? Now on the opposite side of the chair, it's kind of the same situation. You can twist it once left and right and that basically locks the leaning mechanism in the back of the chair. So as you can see, it's upright. Now that I've locked it, I can't lean the chair backwards, vice versa. If I already had it unlocked and I leaned the chair backwards and then locked it, this would not come up until the thing has been unlocked in it. So yeah, that's another thing. If you don't want the chair to accidentally lean backwards, you want it to give you a bit of support, you can obviously have that leaned upwards. I don't know if you guys noticed this pocket at the back of the chair as well. Like literally, I don't know, what can you put in there? Maybe you might want to put in there a power bank. Um, anything that's thin, really, you can slap in there. And it, it's not that deep. It's about as deep as this power bank kind of thing. Um, anything more than that, you're probably going to be doing way, way, way too much. Like, let me see, for example, this bulky MSI microphone um, fits in. But yeah, it looks, it just looks a bit mad. You get it? It just looks a bit mad. All right. Obviously, if man does the comfort test, being a big boy, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Mmm, this is chill, this is chill, hold on. Do you know what, do you know what I would say? Straight away, trying to reach, yeah, trying to reach the, the controls for the chair while sitting on the chair like this, feels a bit mad, it feels a bit like unnatural, they feel a bit far, like I can't reach them easier. Easy enough. Maybe that's my lack of flexibility. Let me push these down. Can I reach them easier now? Yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit. Man's having to do a bit of a crunch to really reach them and twist them. Mmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot easier to twist them whilst you're off the chair. But stuff like the gas lifts, you you will only want to be using that whilst you're on the chair, kind of thing. So I feel like maybe I don't know. The control should come out a bit further so that man can reach that. There we go. Managed to reach it in the end. But yeah, so it's a bit it's a bit tricky to reach them. Still. I can't lie, apart from that though, there's not much madness man can chat about this chair. It's comfy, it's big boy certified, and it's mad sturdy. Do you know what? On top of that, I'm gonna say that it was actually decently easy to assemble and put together, fam. Like it's always a little bit tricky for me to assemble things because I'm trying to film the assembly and do it at the same time, me one kind of thing. But in all honesty, it was like what? four 16 screws that you can like literally put in manually with the little allen key that's everything's included kind of thing to get it all set up um yeah man thunder x3 i can't wait to see more of their gear in the future loving the headrest pillow ting loving the footrest i don't know if i get showed you guys the footrest footrest was quite wavy anyway you know if this helped you leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys in the next one